We need to hire some ve uh, buy some vehicles. Turn that off. Uh, craft. Right, one pushback truck. Belt loader. Do we have the roofless or the ones the roofs on? I can't remember. It doesn't actually say. I don't know, don't know. Maybe the subway's expensive, that's what's keeping me from doing it. I don't know. I've never worked out why the roofless one is more expensive. I literally have no idea. It just it's almost like they got it the wrong way around. <laughs> like the one with the roof only really matters in inclement weather anyway. But then it, there's no measurable way of making your staff unhappy by doing it. Like, if they've got to drive around in the snow, not having a roof doesn't seem to actually matter. Yeah, that's what it is, because it's convertible. They've had to stiffen up the body properly, so it costs more money. <laughs> All right, we get two of them. We'll get them into position. In the meantime, we shall connect. Right, you can go. Uh, That's weird. Why are these two red and that one's green? Why is that one green? That implies it doesn't have one. It should have two baggage trucks. doesn't seem to have any. How odd. Or it starts um, auto assigning stuff. March 4. Objects is not functional. Why not? Boarding desk not connected. Security checkpoint not connected. This is like really frustrating. You can't assign vehicles because 
you've got to put a boarding desk on it first. Why? Hang on, security checkpoint. What are you talking about? Oh, I see. I have a zoning problem. Right, let's copy past to something from down here. Now wait, what I need to do is upgrade. Okay, now we can copy past her. I want the windows, but I don't want the wall as well. I'm going to try and copy the wall. I guess that one's going to have to be over here a little bit. Interesting. That's kind of hard to work around that. Yeah, it's because the jet waves are like asymmetric, aren't they? So on this side, it kind of punches over that way a lot, and you can't have a bathroom here. Well, you have a load of space here. Well, you could have a bathroom, except then they've got to go through the bathroom to get there. So you can't really do that either. Get some more feet on the ground. Uh, Giddy, th thank you for 46 months, Giddy. It should have worked out security by now. By the connected areas. Right, stand large six. Stop that shenanigans. Yeah, they stood it again, look, those three. Those specific three, it doesn't connect.
It's about the best we can get it, I think. Yes, I will crowd on you. Let's turn that off. That's so bizarre because those three connect in, but those three don't. Equipment failure. That's fine. Don't care about that. Bit tight for the planes, why? Yeah, the taxiway is wide enough. It's seven squares wide, it's fine. Right. Which means we just need to assign vehicles now. So that's already got the pushback truck. But the others who don't, so let's find those. Large pushback truck. Why is that not assigning? It's because you have to be on ground level. Uh, unassigned, go. Large belt loader. See, why? Why is that green? It's almost like this one doesn't have a large belt loader assigned to it, but it clearly does. Well, there's the push bank. The belt loaders are on the way. Baggage trucks. Um, on the... To the... Anything else? Click on that. It's connected to those three, but that doesn't have any connection to baggage claim.
That make us short on ramp agents, maybe. Service technician, security officer. Okay. We may need to open up more of these. Just going to leave us with security shortage again. No, we don't need them open. It's these we want open. Let's see how it goes. I think we're all ready to go. So we'll turn on the planner. Scale down the contractors. How do they get to baggage claim? They basically... Um, floor one. So they come out of here. And then they basically walk down here to the escalators. So we're going to put some... Um, transportation along here as well. Just to help people out. So they come out of here, then they come along there, and then they go down the escalators, go through, well, you know what I mean, exit, get the baggage. I'm going to stick some more shops here. Let's see how these are getting on. Closed, closed. I think we may need to ha to get more contracts because I'm not seeing any flights here. I think we need to pick up another contract. Let's get BA in. Mr. Ryback! <laughs> Thank you very much, Ryback. Ten subs. Can we get some squirrel gift in chat for him? If you're lucky enough to get one, please give Ryback a massive thank you. Appreciate the support, Mr. Ryback. Thank you. find a contract that only has large feels like there's contracts with only medium bit of a problem haven't played sim airport for a few years um, blinding bards so I can't really realistically compare them anymore
today's economy report we are 537 in the black that's nice aircraft infrastructure fees 1 million yeah we need to do catering next I really want to make, make money from catering so we're going to have to do that oh my god hmm this is an issue We're not getting enough large flights in. The way this is going, <clears throat> we may have to rethink some strategy. Because it kind of feels like, with all the contracts, the medium and then large... Therefore, you can't avoid taking mediums. Which means we're going to have to start building medium terminals. This is a bit of a worry. We've got these large stands and nothing's happening. Why is that? I could build some more of these here. service car stock. What's the service car stop icon?
There it is. Service car stop. I wonder if I can do that. At least improve the um the possibility of cars being able to get drivers. Oh, the Ryan airplane's got a fault on it. And will therefore be delayed. comes with its own road, that's why. I was beginning to wonder. Okay. I'm hoping that will help that particular problem. Not a single plane. I have to say, that is actually really annoying. I've got all this capacity for large aircraft to land, and nobody's coming. And I reckon it's because... Take BA, I reckon they'll only send their large aircraft when the satisfaction level reaches a certain threshold. And that only happens if you start taking their medium planes, which we pretty much can't, because we don't have the capacity for it. Wait, what? That's two flights. That's two flights. I hope the smaller plane can go in the large hangar. Because there's already a plane in there. Rip. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we could actually... We've got four stands, we can just do twos instead of fours, can't we? So that can go to the... This one... Service car stop. Oh my god. This is going to be hard to change. First of all, thank you for three years. Excuse me, thank you for a bullseye 50 months. <laughs> you can put medium planes on those stands. <laughs> Feels wrong, doesn't it? Allow medium to use this object, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to. It sucks, but there's no point having empty stands. Right, these two go there. That's going to do two and three. Let's go with... Reconnect service car stop. Connection not possible. When the UI gets in the way, look at this. <laughs> Connection not possible. Connection possible. Okay, that's that one done. Can't change that one yet. Can't change that one yet. Can't change as we can. can. Go to that one.
Okay, so those two are correct now. That stand is doing those two. Just need to change this. So I need to change that one. Oh, come on, game. Actually, you know what? I think I need to let the mediums land there. I don't think I've allowed that medium aircraft. I know what's going to happen now. The mediums are going to land here and then taxi around here and go all the way around there. And I don't want that. Told you. <laughs> Called it. Well, now it is like Skipple. <laughs> oh, at least we're getting flights in. Do you allow mediums on this as well? I don't know. We could do. Might as well. Might as well allow it. Uh, pretty much, yeah, briskets. You can have, like... If you pull that further back, a medium will be able to depart, but it, I, I don't know what... It, it doesn't show you on the runway. If you put the exit here, then it's, like, before a medium can depart. It literally doesn't tell you. It just lets you guess. This is so stupid. I have to wait until I get that exact window when it's not handling a flight. All I want to do is just reassign the service car. It's just so stupid. planes in there now. Okay, somebody's stuck. That's got to be a zoning issue. So these have got to be arrivals, which means they're freaking out because they can't get to where they want to go. A bit weird because that's all international secure all the way through here and we know this works out to the baggage area so what exactly is the problem may not need to go via oh god the mediums aren't they the mediums So that means down here, um, I mean, how does this work then? How do you get them? Because they're not large, because they're not international, they don't need to be in an international area. So how do we get them out of here? You 
can't. What you just can't do it. So, how is it then? How are you supposed to allow a large stand to take medium? Because medium don't require international. Passport control pointed the other way. What? Hybrid blue, thank you for subbing. There was a game option, I remember that. Realistic international stands enables a per aircraft stand toggle. When enabled, any stand can accept international flights and connect to boarding desks in an international zone. If disabled, large stands require connected boarding desks in an international zone. Warning, changing the setting is disruptive, may cancel the scheduled flights. Yeah, it says it's disrupted though. Hang on. I guess um, before international change. We'll save it there. And we'll see what happens if we turn this option on. If disabled, large stands require connected desks to be international, which they are. I love how you can't read the bottom of the tooltip because it goes off the screen. This setting is not, not what? <laughs> I can't see anymore. All right, realistic international stands turned on, save. This is gonna break everything. Oh, God. Poof. That's suddenly gone rip. Boarding desk not connected. Security checkpoint not connected. Passengers still freaking out. Why is the stand broken exactly? That's so weird. Object is not functional. stands you need to turn the international on it. Interesting how that was turned off for that one. Okay, so now it's international, but it's still broken. I can 
still can't connect some object not functional. And now it's now it's decided I can. Okay, right. It appears to have fixed itself. And it said that these passengers are not too happy here. They're still pretty freaked out by the whole experience. <laughs> we have a shortage of ramp agents. Yeah, they will eventually starve. They'll just die in the airport. Hang on, they appear to be walking very slowly. I <laughs> love this. Completion 100%, handling grade A. You've not been fined. Well done. <laughs> Like, the best that you can do is not to be fined. <laughs> now, why are these not connected to anything, I wonder? Okay, that's weird. This checking desk can't find a path to its connected baggage bay. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, that baggage bay is in a different thing now. Interesting. Probably just have to reassign these. Still stuck. Make sure a customs booth is accessible through walls and zones. What are they calling customs? Are they calling that customs? I wonder if a reload will, will fix it. I can't work out if those stuck passengers are causing issues. Nobody's actually boarded. Service in progress, baggage unloading in progress. Hmm. They haven't gone through customs, so they're looking for a customs entry point. How do we fix it? I have checked the zones. The problem is, we just changed it from... We changed the large stands from allowing, from not allowing medium to allowing medium. And the mediums had domestic flights. And when the domestic flight landed, the passengers freaked out because they're in an international zone. They don't know how to get out of it. You know what I mean? That's what happened.
Right, I'm going to try and bounce on the game and see if those passengers sort themselves out. I don't think they will, personally. Yeah, I changed the setting to say, um, basically, the large stands are all international now. We'll see what happens. I don't know, Hecker, because I don't think you can have it both ways. Like, when the passengers get off the plane, they immediately walk into a zone. It's either international or it's not. And the internationals will get freaked out by non, and the non-internationals will get freaked out by international. It takes a while to load. Seems to have flushed them out. Why are all the stands running away? What's going on? All of the large things are running late. to create a gap in the schedule again. does uh do the flights to the planet say through international or domestic um i mean that's domestic but it doesn't specifically say it is so no i guess not Let's see what happens when it flushes through. Just cancel a bunch of flights and uh, see if that helps. Holy bus cue, Batman. Yikes. 
Well, that's. I think we're we're getting we're borderline needing a subway. I think a subway might help with this. Battle cattle, thank you for 74 months. Either we build a load of bus stops here, and I say a load, there's not that much space left. Unless we go over the road. Because the taxis aren't very well used anyway. If you look at it. Or maybe we just get a subway. Italian BMT. Foot long. Herb and cheese. <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a penalty. There's a two hundred dollar a day overhead, I think. It doesn't seem to have high speed rail, no. It's the operating cost I don't understand. The operating cost of two hundred dollars. I mean, the operating cost of a large runway is three thousand three hundred. Kind of feels like a subway is cheap to me. Like a small runway. Is two hundred dollars, so that's the same price as a small runway. Let's see if we can fit a subway in under here. How the heck do you line this thing up? Structure position not valid. How does this work? Can you, can you just put it at ground level? seats look at that there's the baggage there's the parking you have to add sidewalk after you put it down okay we'll just stick it down here then It just feels a bit weird. Whatever, that's a bit weird, but we'll go with it. Sidewalk. Do that. Why not put it on ground level? Because I don't care about it. Like, I just want it out of the way. I might as well put it down here. The subway's underground anyway. We might as well just have it. The station, you know, the, the thing here, just take you straight to the escalator. If we put it on ground level, you'd have to go down the staircase to go down to the subway. At least with this, you can just get the escalator. Oh, here we go. All hell's breaking loose. Oh, 
Void Speedy, thank you, 51. There we go. And that's that. Now, will it take any load off the buses? That's the question. See if we can flush out these problems. I know, right? It's like the quickest subway ever. <laughs> Teddy, thank you, 42. Well, the good news is this stuff seems to be working again. Although I'm not convinced that the shops are working very well, considering these guys have left and these guys have left. These guys are just opening. Okay, Starbucks are staying. Is that East Saint Laurent? I'm not sure what that... Oh, Victoria's Secret. They're staying-ish. I'm not sure how much money they're making. Let's get somebody else in here. Dolce and Gabbana. Let's go. And then... Well, Chanel didn't work out, so maybe... Get a WH Smiths. Everybody needs a magazine. Kind of hope the footfall will be a lot higher than it is. This bit is crazy busy. The amount of people that just love sitting down in these seats just blows my mind. Your screen is frozen again. Awesome. Best stream ever. <laughs> like how that's my fault. <laughs> your, your screen's frozen and that's my fault. Oh, man. These shops always do well. Look at this. Rent and sales revenue from Costa, $1.6 million. That's insane. Oliver Rick, thank you, 25. Burger King, 86,000. They're doing pretty well. I wanted more larger aircraft, and we're just not getting it. Oh my god, look at these people. Look at this. Look at the AI pathing. Goes over the Travelator doesn't take the next one or the next one just diagonally walks across the screen like what is the logic who coded this i mean this is what, it's this little jiggle here what's going on there they come in diagonally and then just take this the exact same jiggle I like, if I was coding that, that would actually annoy me. Like, it would actually annoy me to the point where I'd be like, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not releasing that. That's ridiculous. Like, I'd want, I'd add variation. You know what I mean? That's what people do. You've got your shortest path, your quickest path, and then you've got stuff in between. Some people just go, oh, I know there's a travel later. I'll walk. But nobody gets off the first one and then all of them diagonally walk across the screen. That's just insane. 